you know, if it can be, it, maybe if there can be an exception written in there with documentation based on um, department heads, uh, county manager, elected officials, or something like that. Um, I'm just concerned that we're going to institute a policy that's so strict. And I don't expect it to be, um, you know, something that's going to happen very often at all, but I think it would be prudent to put in there some exception based on that level. Um, Stephanie and I will get together today and look at some potential language for amendment. You know, just with appropriate written documentation or something like that. And then you get into a definition of what is appropriate. I think you open the back door to talk. Okay. I just think you can be open up. A lot of exceptions. When you start making exceptions to a rule, it's not good. We talked about this once before. We talked about in different locations, deals are more expensive here in some places. My concern is you can get in downtown Atlanta and you, you can spend $25 on the dinner without even trying. I mean, I can spend 15 in varsity. And I just don't want to, I don't want to see us be in a position that we're trying to entertain in Atlanta or, or D.C. or somewhere and turn around and say, I'm sorry, we got to go here because we got $25 meal limits on everything. Or we got to go here. But do I just look at that and make a statement that it should not exceed a certain amount per day? Receipts. If I had a meal and it was $30, I'm turning in receipts and, you know, I'm writing a check to the county for $5. You know, I would get you into know, some situation like that. I simplify the paperwork, so you could probably even raise those amounts by $10 and you'd still be covered, I think. If the question, 
Commission was the uh, application to the constitutional and elected officials. I agree with your point that this is intended to apply to the commissioners and the employees of the board of commission. Is that correct? Yeah. Commissioner Raines made a good point that the elected officials who would actually be governed by this could lead by example by the following. That's what, that's what I was hoping we would encourage, that this kind of create a standard across the county. All employees elected constitutional. Just a good word, all you can do is encourage because they're not bound by right. The union. And I fully understand, <clears throat> yes, sir. I just think it sets a good standard for everybody to follow and it sets a basis coming from the commissioners going out to the entire uh, workforce of the county. Any other questions?